guys! It's your girl City and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is finally my first video of 2021. It's been a tough year for everyone. I know that for a fact. Hopefully this year is going to be bringing us better news and um, better energy overall. But let me just look at the past year and show you guys a rundown of my favorite lip products of 2020. I shot a similar video last year where I showed you all my favorite lip products of 2019 and I'm doing it again this year just to continue the tradition and also I haven't been wearing makeup a lot this quarantine or since the pandemic hit but I have been consistently wearing lip products I always need something on my lips to look alive and breathing so um, I'm really excited to show you guys everything and if you guys are interested to know more about it then just keep on watching all the products that I will be mentioning are the ones that I keep on my beauty pouch or parang my makeup bag on a daily basis like I carry this to work on the daily and the good thing about it is that most of these products are multi-purpose personally I like using them on my lids and on my cheeks just for that quick pick me up kasi hindi na ako nagme makeup talaga as in color lang I just need some color on my face Otherwise, magmumuha talaga ako may sakit. So the first product that I will be showing you is an oldie but a goodie. I mentioned this on my rundown last year as my favorite. And it is still up to this day my favorite or one of my favorites. This is the Sunny Space Fluff Matte. Last year, I was really obsessed with Sunny's Face Fluff Matte in Nudist because it's such a nice shade for, for me at least, it's like my MLBB. But I found an even better shade. I'm almost out of it already. As in, ganyan na lang yung natitira. And this is the shade Baby Spice. And I'm wearing it right now. Every time I would wear this, I would get compliments or I would get asked what lippy I'm wearing. So for those who are asking, most of the time when I'm filming, this is the shade that I use or this is the lip color that I use because it registers really nicely on the camera. So you best believe that I am going to be repurchasing once I finish this too. And I do recommend this if you are also a fair to medium complexion as your everyday lipstick. Next product is also a tube lipstick but this one is a newer release. And I would say this is comparable to the fluff matte in terms of the formula. And this one is a detail makeover powder pout. This is the one where they collaborated with um, vloggers or Filipino vloggers. I ordered this one off of Lazada and I specifically asked for the shade Ashley Up, but they sent me the shade Riza. And although I am disappointed that I did not get the shade that I ordered, I would still say though that the shade Riza is really nice. It's um, like baby spice but it has more of a pinkish undertone to it. Sometimes I also use this as a blush color because it's good for pink. Niya, so it works really nicely on the cheeks. It's brighter than what I would normally wear and it's more berry tone. Siya. So at first I did not like it but to make this work for me, what I do is to use this parang lightly lang. I dab this on my lips and I just spread it out with my fingers and okay na ako. This shade in Riza can work up to darker complexions kasi yung Baby Spice parang feeling ko limited lang siya sa mga lighter complexion. For the price point of 199 pesos, if I'm not mistaken, okay na okay to. Detail Makeover collaborated with a lot of influencers for this line. So, marami kayong pagpipili na shade. If you are looking for a good MLBB lipstick na pwede sa darker complexion, then you might wanna check out Detail Makeover's Powder Pout in the shade Riza. So, the next product in the bag is technically marketed as a blush color or a face color. But I really enjoyed using this on my lips more than I thought I would do on my cheeks. And this one is also from Detail Makeover. This product is also a collaboration with Filipino YouTubers Ray Hermar and May Layug. And the shade that I have, which is Lucas, is such a nice shade for the lips. I really love it. It's a parang peachy 
tone but it has brown undertones to it so it looks really nice. On the cheeks, okay lang siya sa akin. I just find na yung brownish undertone can sometimes be at my disadvantage kasi nagmumukha siyang pasa. If I apply too much, I don't know if that's making sense. Pero parang ganun yung dating niya sa akin sometimes. So, I have to make sure that I just put a little on my cheeks. But on my lips, I like layering this. I love this color on my lips. Sobrang natural niya tingnan. The downside lang is mabilis siyang mabura but I don't mind reapplying this at all. The texture of this product is really nice. Talagang true to its claims. And for 249 pesos, sulat na to for me. Highly recommend this if you are the type to go for multi-purpose product. This one is something that works and the price point is not too bad. So, Go and grab it if you can. Next up, we are gonna be diving into lip tints. And I have two recommendations here that I'm really, really happy about. First one is my absolute favorite lip product of this year, like hands down. If you have watched my YesStyle unboxing, makikita nyo to doon because YesStyle sent this over. Since the day that I got it and tried it on, lagi na tong nasa purse ko. As in, it doesn't leave me. Ginagamit ko siya araw-araw. Eh, sobrang obsessed ko dito. Ang ganda ng formula. It glides on so smoothly. It's very velvety, very luxe yung feeling. The product smells so nice. It has the sweet fruity scent to it na kahit ilang beses ko nang gamitin yung product, hindi na mamaho. I've heard from other people na may mga lip tints silang tinatry tapos after a while, nagiging mabaho yung lip tints. I don't know why. Maybe sa formula. But for this one, I use this non-stop. Like, I use this on my lips, on my cheeks, on my lips, on a daily basis as I got it. I would change it up sometimes, pero ito talaga yung pinakamadalas kong ginamit. And hands down, this is something na worth it talaga. This is the priciest amongst the ones that I will be showing you, pero para sa akin, worth it siya. If you are a lipstick junkie, you ought to have this in your collection. Ang ganda niya talaga, promise. This is a big claim, but this might be the best lip tints that I've tried ever. So, I'm gonna be linking the Yes I link for this. And I also have this in my carry shop. I have a carry shop which I'm not very active in promoting. I should be promoting it more. But just in case you are more um, comfortable purchasing through Caris, I have this in my shop and I'll link it down below for you guys. Next product is also a lip tint, but this is locally made naman, you guys. And this is from Cray Cosmetics. I think it's called Hyper Dot. Favorite shade out of them is the shade Loki, but just for variety, I'm showing you G Tinks. This is more of the brownish color. You can also use this for your lids, your cheeks, and your lips as a tint or pwede namang full-on color kasi sobrang opaque nito. Unlike the black rouge na on the velvety or moussey side yung texture, ito mas onto the watery side of the spectrum. But I had no issues applying this whatsoever. Hindi siya nag-sustain in one place. It's very blendable and it blends seamlessly. You can use your fingers or you can also use a brush for this but I find na using my fingers works best for this product. I do feel na ito yung product na hyped sa Instagram but actually works. If you don't know where to get it, just look up Cray Cosmetics on Lazada or I'll be linking the link to this product, yung Lazada shop nila so you guys can purchase if you want to. For those people naman na hindi mahilig sa lip tints or lipsticks pero gusto nilang ng nice and moisturize yung lips nyo, these are the ones that I can definitely recommend. When I was working from home and I was not putting anything on my face except these two products. So, the first one is the good old Vaseline Lip Therapy and this is in Rosy Lips. Quarantine happened during the summertime so I really needed something to keep my lips moisturized all the time and ito yung ginagamit ko and ito lang okay na ako. 
This product is really affordable and no fuss at all. So, kahit yung mga hindi talaga nagme-makeup can use this one. Lastly, if you are the type naman na you want to keep your lips nice and moisturized but you want a subtle hint of tint, then this is a perfect product for you. This is from Nivea. This is a cherry lip balm and I really enjoyed using this on days when I'm just staying at home, lounging around or I'm just going to the gym para may subtle hint lang ng tint. This reminds me of the Maybelline na baby lips before that I used to use and love. Yung subtle hint of color lang. Ito yun. Um, if you are also missing the baby lips, you might wanna try this one. And it's super moisturizing din sa labi. I recommended this one to my best friend who is a guy and is looking for a lip balm na may subtle hint ng tint lang para hindi rin siya mwambangkay like me na maputla kapag walang anything on his face. You can easily find this at Watson's but if you wanna do online shopping, I will also be linking down some sites where you can purchase this from. And there you have it guys, these are all my well-loved and used lip products of 2020. And although I know there are not a lot of products in this list, these are really the things that I've used and enjoyed. I would love to hear your product recommendations as well, so make sure to drop them in the comment section down below. And if you also enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Come and say hi on my Instagram at mycity underscore. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you. And may you all have clear skin and happy hearts. Happy New Year! Yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah